Greetings and salutations, folks. And welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2, where apparently there's a stranger in these parts. A stranger that can be talked to. So let's go talk to him first. Like right now... In, oh, oh no. Oh jeez. Oh yeah, there we go. Um... We've got to save uh, Micah from jail, um, and more or less establish a foothold in this territory. What is this guy trying to accomplish? The framing, yes, but the lighting. Uh... Hello, Mister. Oh. Hello. You almost gave me a heart attack. Sure. What? Our country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. It's too bad he doesn't have a fancy portable camera like I got. Take another picture. That could allow a person to take I'll selfies. Pompous middle class burger. I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just there. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes. Not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh! Good heavens! My bag! That thing is robbing me! Go, oh, good heavens! Don't worry! Oh no, uh... That thing is a coyote! Sneaky one, too! Wildlife photography! Alright, let's track this coyote. Do I have a boat? I have a gun. Good enough. I mean, I suppose as long as nobody... Nobody complains that I just shot up a animal in the wild. This is what I'd call a robbery gone wrong, coyote. Yep. So I pick up this bag. Sorry, coyote. Not every robbery goes well. I should know. But, at the very least, that's one mission that didn't seem to go too poorly. You are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I'm Maybe you up. shouldn't put your supplies in the same bag as your meat. You take care, sir. I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. Right. Yep. Oh, that's somebody else's horse. My horse is over here. I knew that one. You know, I was going to do another quest first. Quest, mission, what have you. First. But... Oh, we got this stranger. Not a stranger. Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for No, well, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Wait, are you going to change my life or that minute? Despino, the renowned explorer. Who? There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. 
I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I've spent That's the last three months great, on sir. treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm. Well, good for Tokushima you. Tokushima oh, no, Sapphire. No, no, no. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the um, and he's hoping to get oh, some cash. Who have heard of but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This Do you have? Should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. All right. Me. Yes. Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of ten dollars. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. All right, I'll buy it. What the hell? I wasn't using those ten dollars for anything else. I wish you the best of luck. I have a. Um... All right, so I have absolutely no idea where that treasure is. I'll just try to keep in mind that somewhere out there, there is a flat hilltop neighboring two larger uh, spires. And that the next point of the map is there. Boss, you in here? Good evening, friend. What's the hold up? Gentlemen. Oh, yep, the Reverend is in here. Possibly playing a game of poker. Some high stakes. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your God has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him. He's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make me. We mistake. ain't friends, buddy. And secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But seeing, I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? Just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. I don't think you're going to be finishing much of a game now. It's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. Am I using his money, or do I have to use my own money? Do I actually want to play poker? I'm not very good. Uh, sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down then. As long as I don't have to use my money, which there's only oh, so much of. This is Marvin. Fortunate Start of each round, players must this. bet on who has the Same best hand. For you. So I've so. got. A queen of spades and a ten of clubs. You don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone. That's a promising starting hand. Something like that. Can we play? Um. He can't be no real clergyman. He committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. All right, sure, why not? I'll call. To all of us. 
Can you imagine him at the pulp? Ah, I got two pair. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> this is a this is a reasonable hand. Um. Fella going through a bad time. All right. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game after all, Mister. That does not help me at all. The ace is a scorecard. If another player has made a pair of aces, they will beat your pair of queens. Okay, so I won't add in any more money. I'll check. The river, this is the final round of betting. Now I've got two pair. Um... All right, I'll I'll bet ten cents. Sometime before we all grow old, Come on, let's we'll get nice. this going. I'll call. Here, this ain't what you call finishing strong. Big pile of nothing. Uh. I won four to two cents. Mm -hmm. Big, big yeah. money, big money. I tell you, big. Oh, look at that sweet, sweet pot I got. All right, I'm going to go. Gentlemen, this is getting too rich for me. Oh, sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Rip. <laughs> The guy you were playing Excuse the poker with. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Uh, excuse me, stranger. Um... Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him. Smelt him and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Got All right. Crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. Definitely seems that way. Hey, Reverend. Mario. Mario. Hey. Calm down. Hey. You just Get your hands off him. Say a word. You'll keep. How did he get into a fight and Nope, oh, that that was not my hat, but somebody else's hat in which I stole off of their dead body. But I still take offense to that. Oh, wrong button. Take that, and... There we go. Uh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. It appears you're your witness to this murder. Why couldn't I just have knocked him unconscious? Yeah, he okay. stopped. Okay, please don't hurt me. You tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? All right. I suppose this would be a. I, I won't tell us so. This is a tutorial I could have used like one mission ago, uh, because then I wouldn't have just beaten the trapper to death. I would have just threatened him, and then he would have gone back to his shop. Is he on the railroad tracks? He's just gonna get himself killed.
Where are the tracks? The tracks are over there. Although, you know, um, I didn't think about it before, but it's like this game has an interesting uh, aspect that's very similar to Quest 64, of all things. Oh, I'm low on uh, stamina. That's why... Oh. Alright, what can I eat? That will fill my stamina back up. I want to say the parasol mushroom does fill your stamina. No, it does not. Um... How about... Shall we have a carrot? What about a fine brandy? Damages stamina core, we don't want that. Uh, canned strawberries, I guess. There we go. Yeah, but there appears to be a... Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Yep, oh, damn it. Got it! Come on! Eh. <laughs> Whew! Okay. We made it. That was a close one. Thanks, sir! Uh, oh, no, you don't! That reverend was quite close to... Meeting his meeting his uh, lord a little early. Throwing me off a bridge like there that. There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard. <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? Is he not even aware? Uh, I guess he's ex he must be extremely drunk. I wish I was different. I say the same all the time. Let's get you home. Home. Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But <sighs> All right. I suppose some... Some people drink to forget their past. Some people drink to remember it, but in doing so, they forget their present. Yep. Also, hopefully no trains are coming for me now, because... That's where the path has decided for me to ride. But hey, at the very least, I was able to play a single hand of poker. That's probably going to be all the poker I play in this game. Uh, that's the thing with, like, Rockstar games. Uh, Rockstar likes to give you tons of activities these days. Especially, like, with, um... Like, with Grand Theft Auto V. Uh, like, Grand Theft Auto V had sports for you to play, uh, businesses for you to buy... But a lot of those activities I never really participated in because, well, I'm not going to... I didn't buy Grand Theft Auto V to play tennis, but it's there if I wanted. One second while I hitch this horse right over here, maybe. Maybe. Mayhap, no, I guess maybe not there. How about this spot? Is this a satisfactory hitching spot? Well, I was wondering when he'd show up. Ma'am. Ma'am. Do you realize I'm trying to hitch this horse? 
There we go. Okay. I was wondering when the game would actually say, give me that contact sensitive button. This button is context sensitive. It does exactly what I need, exactly when I need it. All right, let's drop off the Reverend in his bed. He is in dire need for some sleep. Though, at the very least, he is among comrades, considering um, Arthur's own, uh, drinking to excess. His own drunken escapades he only had probably a few nights ago. You better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. He almost died. But really, is Arthur anybody to judge, considering? Thank you for watching. Questions, comments, recommendations for something to play next? Comment down below or send it on over to it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. That's it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. So long for now.